Yeah, I talked about this a couple days ago. So I, when I watched the speed stream, I got to see most of it as it unfolded. It was so wild. So speed recently did an entire stream dedicated to shilling a crypto called Paradox Metaverse. It's embarrassing. It's a, the whole stream was a disaster. So it started with a PS5 giveaway. So you see all the PS5s behind them. And the whole, th whole thing with the giveaway is, you know, give it to the chat. Thanks for supporting Paradox Metaverse to the moon. And Speed would take out a sledgehammer and break the PS5s. Which I think is terrible. I think it's a fat L. There's few things as corny as this, just breaking expensive things that people really want, especially in this context where it's kind of just spitting in the face of his fans who thought they had a chance at winning some PS5s. I sent it all to CoffeeZilla right before, like, uh, going live, so a couple hours before, and CoffeeZilla started researching it, and he made this video, he did the interview. It has been so entertaining to see, so now I'm excited to watch the video. I, I did see that he shouted me out in the comments here for tipping him off, and I, I got butterflies in my stomach. To be to something like this before CoffeeZilla is crazy. So, happy to help. I also did a ton of research on it. I went deep into the weeds. One of the people behind the crypto scam is a YouTuber named Money Kicks, whose dad is worth like $2.1 So, I mean, it, it has so many layers. It's such an interesting little rabbit hole. Advertising 10x to 100x is that a get-rich-quick scheme? Yes or no? No. He did them so much credit there because talking to them was like hitting your head against a wall. So he'd ask them a point-blank question, and they do the standard circular talk around it forever. And no matter how many times coffee would be like, yes or no, they'd still just go into their spiel about shit that is completely irrelevant to whatever they're saying. It was frustrating, but still overall entertaining who couldn't play soccer and was wearing a buy paradox crypto coin t-shirt and it quickly so got good the live chat started calling paradox coin a scam in the middle of this sponsored so i looked into this a little bit this guy has made an entire career off looking like cristiano ronaldo so he was in another youtuber's video from a few years back called the cristiano ronaldo prank and they just walked him around with security and got people's reactions a buy paradox crypto coin t-shirt and it quickly got worse the live chat started calling paradox coin a scam in the middle of this sponsored stream and called i show speed a sellout which caused him to get very angry the fact that i ever made like chat the fact that y'all like, like y'all just think of me like that it's just crazy i hate that bro y'all so weird bro it's crazy he also tried to guilt trip the fans because there was a lot of donos coming through like that that were like this is a scam speed you have to know this is a scam and be like, why, why are you guys saying that? You're hurting my feelings. The fact you think of me like that makes me really upset. And you know I would never do that to you guys. It's just, you're making me really sad right now. Just guilt tripping them. He's like, I just want to see W's in the chat. No more L's. No more of that. Just W's in the chat. Only mods. Only W's. It was, it was fucking embarrassing. Shameless. Now, yeah, it is important to remember. Speed himself is a kid. He is 17. And people keep using that as an excuse. And I think to some level, that's fine. Because he should have people around him that are able to sniff out scams like this. But Speed also clearly knew what he was doing. The audio in here that leaked because he didn't mute all of the mics so it got picked up. Pretty much confirms that he knew this was kind of shady shit to begin with. He is not 19. He says he's 19. He is 17. He was born in 2005. He is a minor. He is a kid. It is a meme that he says he's 19. We double-checked last night. He is born in 2005. He's 17. But his team around him is clearly not actually looking out for him, for allowing him to do shit like this and be used. I'd like to come in here and further clarify that I'm not saying everything that happened is excusable because he's a kid. 
He still, of course, bears the responsibility and at the end of the day has the final say in what he does and what he promotes. So he should be doing at least the bare minimum to have an understanding of what's going on and what he's actually promoting. Because even during the stream, he couldn't even remember the name of the company like twice. Which of course made the chat turn against him saying things like sell out and I show scammer. So I do absolutely think that he needs to pay more attention to this kind of shit. And he also needs people around him on his team that are old enough to rent a car and actually have experience in life that can look at things like this, go through it, and then decide if it's legitimate or not, and then relay that information to him. Because right now, it doesn't seem like he has that team. From the look of things, he's got a bunch of people around him that just care about money, like Mr. Krabs here. So it leads to absolute catastrophes like this. And I do think that, at the end of the day, Speed did get used here. He was exploited by this shady, shitty crypto company to shield their dog shit. But that doesn't mean that Speed is blameless in this situation here, even though he is a kid. And that is the fact that all these teenagers and kids called this guy out. <laughs> I mean, just think about it. The target of most crypto scams is gullible people. And who's more gullible than kids and teenagers? So when those people see right through your skin- You know who's more gullible than kids and teenagers? Is adults who think they're early. I would wager the most gullible people on the planet are like the mid-20s people on the cusp of what they think is new technology or anything that will make them money. I think those are the most gullible people. You see that all the time from the crypto community. Hey, can someone recover my NFTs? I clicked on a link in my emails talking about minting new- uh, boof tokens and now all of a sudden my whole nft collection's gone i think i got fished any help like n you never hear the end of that shit i think they are much more gullible than kids 100 percent. the only problem is he forgot to fully mute the mic so what do i do now oh, oh there's skip there's Now, before we get to the rest of this audio of Speed exposing the scam, let's talk about Paradox Coin, the thing he's promoting. How do we know this is a scam anyways? Well, I checked out their website to learn more, where they call themselves the future of gaming. To answer that question, how do we know this is a scam in the first place? I think every crypto project should be guilty until proven innocent. If any crypto startup comes around, you should assume it's a scam until they prove otherwise. That is the safest way of navigating the crypto space. Is that they're not one thing. The Paradox Metaverse is actually seven things, each one possibly dumber than the last. And I'm going to explain them. So first up is the Paradox game, which has yes. out of the PS2 era, which made me wonder why they'd be giving away PS5 Fuck yeah. and trying to make your games look worse by comparison. But it gets even crazier because I spoke to the founders and they called their game triple A quality. I took issue with it. It's that. pretty close. It is actually, this is up there with like the new Saints Row, Crackdown 3 maybe. Like it's not far off. Also from what I was reading, they used a lot of stock assets. So from, and I don't know this for sure because I'm not familiar with all the stock assets available. But that would mean that they're not even like actually building it ground up or anything like that or even trying. They're just asset flipping like the shit we play on Steam Bad Game Night. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. I was just reading about it. When you yeah, describe sorry. yourself no, no, no. as an okay, indie game... Me, no, no, I don't want to interrupt you, but just give me... You <laughs> are interrupting me! Of course you are! You, you don't call quiet, yourself please. an indie game! <laughs> that shit got dank quick. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of what happened in the live stream. They just immediately just start flooding, like an Xbox Live party chat. Whenever he's trying to, like, call out something, they immediately just flood so much. It's like a wall of noise. A UK-based indie gaming studio. Indie studio. So, yeah, I'm not buying this AAA. Comments are turned off on that video, by the way. Nothing shows confidence in a project quite like turning off the feedback on the announcement in the trailer. Mm. And once you do that, you have to wait 24 hours before starting another mission. Uh, I guess if you do that full time, they estimate you make $500 a week based on four hours a day of playing. Wait, I thought- God, I love that. So the whole thing tries to prey on people like, pay, uh, play to earn is the, the term. So you play our game and you earn money. So like, yeah, you'll come in, you'll, you know, 
investor or whatever, but you're earning money through playing this game and doing our missions with our paracoins, but it's all just worthless nonsense dog shit. It's not real. Playing. Wait, you can rent out your avatar to someone else for paracoins and mm. passive income. Uh, okay, so now you have paracoins, right? What are you gonna do with them? Well, you can sell them, but why sell them when you can lock them up and stake them? Forget this, even more paracoins. If you do this, your paracoins turn into P-save, which then you lock up for what a the period. Fuck? Sorry. The longer you lock up your money, the more you earn in a process they call delay and get paid. Sure, what the I guess. Fuck? Now, if you want to understand how this entire staking process works, um, their flowchart That's a head scratcher. even more confused. Here it is. And instead of explaining it, I'm going to label all of this Ponzi nonsense. This well, let's not write it off too quickly. Let me take a peek here at the uh, the old flowchart. Staking process. Para used for P save. Para distributed. Para used in purchase for the staking protocol. Staking pool. Which goes into the initial stake withdrawing from pool and getting rewarded with para coins. And now your stake is complete. Easy. But now staking pool and the funds dip below 50, a conditional mint comes in and then what the fuck? It's all, it's all simple, honestly. There's seven more. So if you're not a gamer, they also give you other schemes you can get involved in. For example, there's the Paradox DAO where you can stake PDAO coins to earn up to 10% a year in returns. And if that's not your thing, you can try the Paradox pad where they promise so many options to 100x multiples if you invest okay they made a bet here with coffeezilla where they said they would change their name to coffeezilla if paradox meta didn't open to 20 to 30 bucks and it opened to 10 cents here So they didn't even get the full pump and dump. So this is where that bad girl <laughs> kicked off. And here's their bet. I'll make this deal with you right here, right now. I'll make this deal with you right here, right now. Okay. No. If our coin launches and it doesn't it do a minimum 20 to 30 or... I will change my name to Coffee. Mm-hmm. Fucking, I don't even know what your channel's called. What's the channel called? Uh, dip something? I don't know. Coffeezilla, Coffeezilla. Coffee 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 Zilla. Zilla. I will change my name to CoffeeZilla. I'll make this Unfortunately, he didn't do it. He didn't change his fucking name. I haven't checked today, though. Maybe it did hit 20 bucks. Let's take a peek. It's now at 9 cents. I can't believe it. What? Man! I can't believe it didn't go to 20 or 30 dollars. Crazy. Criminal, even. Is nobody playing their game at the moment? Uh, it's the goddamn World of Warcraft killer on those battlegrounds. Up to 20% on staking rewards, all right? Now, if all of that sounds dumb, you can even get your friends to invest too. Uh, every person you get gets five pounds. Okay, whoop de doo Now, the last one we're going to cover is Paradox Events. Just to realize is a waste of money. This is the only way to get rich in 2022 without starting up a business from scratch. For every person uh, that you refer to Amir Talia University, you get 15 pounds. Now I confronted- God, I hate that so fucking much. That, <laughs> it's one of my biggest gripes, those guru programs. And people for some reason buy in and then fight tooth and nail for them. You just train your own little warriors, your own little cult. No, I think saying that this is the only way you're going to get rich is wrong. People don't get rich on affiliate programs? No, People it's don't not, make a living it's not the no. only way. You say, I found the only way to get rich. But also, no. I would be so curious if there is anyone that has ever got rich from affiliate programs. I, I would be shocked. Like, uh, not, obviously, at the top level, affiliate programs are great for the gurus. They make millions. I'm talking like a normal, just random person... Ah, uh, yes, I am a career affiliate promoter. Uh, I bring people to this goober's university for money. And now I own five Ferraris in this garage. 
I'm doing a bit of business. <laughs> we've done Alhamdulillah, we've done all right. Very good. Now we're just celebrating life in the sense. You know, yeah. Life is step by step, you know. Thank 100%, God. You know? 100%. Wait, how's Money Kicks talking about life yeah, is step by step? You don't step? understand, what Coffee. What was your step one? Being the son of a billionaire? What? You what don't get it. You just two? don't get like, it. Like at that point. Are you, is he just talking to people like, hey, have you tried step one yet? Now, uh, <laughs> this is the whole crew. Based yeah, he was just, again, born rich. Dad's a billionaire. It, yeah, the video he's showing is this one as well. So Money Kicks posted this right before the... Speed stream. Oh my god, he took it down. <laughs> okay, unlucky. I Okay, I guess I should have saved it. It was spending a day with a crypto billionaire and I show speed. That was the clip that he got it from. But it, yeah, it was, it was a rough video. It was a rough. So that's just what it sounds like to me um, and apparently to a lot of children and teenagers. So... I think it's probably gonna flop. But now that you understand what Paradox is, it's time to go back to I Show Speed, trying to keep his chat from figuring out what's going on. All right, All right so look, it's cool now. Relax, relax. relax. Yo, no, 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 relax. Uh, why wasn't the chat? You see no more f***ing scam. The microphone. I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to make uh, this, this, this. No, no, bro. You know what I'm doing, bro. Huh? Oof. I'm not gonna say that, but then it's gonna be obvious, bro. Yeah, I think it's a little too late for that. Stop spamming. I'm not a scammer, bro. Why do you keep spamming? Bro, I'm not a scammer, dog. I made a little mistake, you know, that I wish I never did, but I'm not a scammer, bro. Now, at the very least, Speed apologized in the very next stream and looks like he cut ties with everything. So, this was pre-sale. They didn't go live on that day, I don't think. I think they went live yesterday. So hopefully no one in his audience lost any money on it. But what an absolutely reputational nuke he took there. Fucking bit a fat L, unfortunately. No one decided to do any level of thinking about that partnership there. But yeah, this Ronaldo impersonator moment was so special. It was so fucking good. They bring in the Ronaldo impersonator... Play it off like the real Ronaldo. So they hyped it up for a long time. They're like, if we get enough Paradox Metaverse to the moon in the chat, we'll bring out something special. Go follow the Twitter. Go follow the Twitter. Here's the Twitter. Go follow it. And they got 2,000 followers. They're like, oh, fuck. That just unlocked it. Turn around, Speed. Close your eyes. We got a special surprise for you. Guess in the chat who it's going to be. And then Paradox Metaverse to the moon. And they bring out fake Ronaldo. They bring out Chris Orlando here. And... They all play it off like it's the real Ronaldo. And almost immediately in the chat, people are like, what the fuck? That's not Ronaldo. It was quite an obvious joke. Not to everybody, though. If you, In fact, if you go on Twitter right now, Speed posted a picture with the impersonator. There are still so many of his fans that think he met the real Ronaldo and they were reflecting on this stream. And like, it was great to see Ronaldo socialize with you like that. And he knows who you are because he did one of Speed's things. They're like, holy shit, Ronaldo actually knows who you are. So there are a lot of them that really believed it was the real deal. They were trolling. You like to think that, but I, I just don't believe it. You have to remember, a lot of his audience is kids as well. It's of course important to mention that during the stream, they do eventually drop it and reveal it's not the real Ronaldo, it's an impersonator. It's not Cristiano Ronaldo, it's Christopher Rowland. But I think a lot of the kids only focused on the part that went viral which was Speed's reaction to meeting Ronaldo, where he's yelling and screaming and shit and hugging him. So a lot of them still, to this day, believe that he actually has met Ronaldo because of this moment. Why did he destroy the PS5s? He thought it'd be comedic? I don't know. Uh, that, that was bad. Like, even before all the crypto shit started, they led with the PS5 stuff and he was breaking it and immediately turned chat against him. I don't know why you'd ever do that. I hate that shit. That was a trend back in like 2009 or whatever, whenever the PS3 came out. Going to GameStop, midnight release for PS3 and breaking it. And it was always so fucking douchey. And it is still douchey to this day. Why? I Again, I don't know, man. I, he, they must have thought that it was a good joke. I don't watch a ton of speed streams, I'll be the first to admit. I am familiar with him to some level. 
but it's just not my cup of tea. I'm not, I'm sure most of you know, I'm not really big into the, like the really loud equals entertaining stuff. And that's mainly his brand. So it's just not for me. So I don't know what the breaking PS fives was for. Maybe because it makes a loud noise or it's destructive, shocking. I don't know. The fake Ronaldo came out on TikTok and said they specifically asked him not to say a word or they wouldn't pay him. <laughs> That's this isn't what I was like, talking what about. Are you like? What are you? Like are you like Ronaldo brother? Who is this guy? And the resub fuzzy and abby and phony. Yep, that's that whole situation. Pretty wacky stuff. 